Right now, uh, you know, we're still enjoying some sun here and uh, the rest of the whole seashell is actually, there's no sun to be seen. So the, the guy who, who built this property, he had a whole many acres of land and he put various cottages on it. And then he chose this one as, as the prime spot. So the people would come here by steamboat um, because there was, only, there was no roads and they would be dropped off here. And then they would all come to this, this exact spot where we we're at to, to have their evening meals. Um, yeah, so he, he selected the very best, best spot and you can look across there now and you can see that it's just getting the very last of the, the sun. We have three uh, rooms available, they're suites, they're all self-contained suites with their own entrance uh, and two of them have a nice log fire for the winter time. And, um, we also manage a couple of neighbouring properties, so we manage a place called the Treehouse which has another two to three beds and also the cottage next door which also has another bed. So between all of those, I think, like I said, we can accommodate around 15 people. The whole of the cottages and accommodation in the area can, can accommodate up to 55 people. So between us all we get together and it's a very collaborative uh, feeling in this in Tawanek. Um, we don't feel it's competition, we just all encourage people to stay in each other's places. Um, so up to 55, but in our property we, we did a wedding only this weekend actually for 15 people. And the connection with the area where they were divers and this island just here which is just, they actually came off our dock and dived over there and that's considered the number four diving spot in BC. Yeah, so they came here, they had their wedding, we catered everything in-house and then in the morning we did their post-wedding breakfast and then at 10 o'clock after breakfast they dived in off this dock and swam out there and there's an 80 foot um, drop and another 120 foot shelf I think. Um, it's surprisingly warm, the water on, on the surface, we could go swimming now, it's about 23 degrees uh, on the top sort of 12 to 24 inches but as you dive down it gets down to about 11 or 12 so it's pretty damn cold uh, but very clear and the best diving time uh, in this area is November till April where there's incredible like up to 100 foot clarity in the water so yeah the divers all come here in the winter time when we were coming to the area on vacation we we only ever came in the winter time um, and we loved it in the winter but um, yeah, there's a lot of winter activities. We can, just 15 minutes from here, um, there's, uh, there's a forest road that we can go up to snow, and then there's, uh, you can access the Tetrahedon Park, um, and there's uh, cross-country ski trails groomed, and there's also three cabins up there that you can hike into that are offered free of charge for people in the area, and there's firewood in there. So as you go into the fall, you can go up there and enjoy, enjoy the area. There's a lot of do-it-yourself activities. Um, there's, we have kayaks, we have paddle boards and canoes, uh, so the guests can just get in those and just paddle around and you know make their own fun. And uh, in addition to that, we also have a 27-foot sailboat, so we can take people out sailing, uh, go further afield, go for, you know three or four hours, or even whole day trips on the sailboat. Um, we also offer fishing trips. We've got a fishing boat, uh, so we take people fishing. Uh, we take people crabbing. Um, and we, we offer this thing where they can come back and we can uh, quickly cook up their own catch or they can cook up their own catch on the barbecue which is, uh, which is great fun. Yeah, so one of the fantastic things about uh, kayaking or paddle boarding here is that there's, you can actually have a destination. So instead of just, you know, going up and down around here, you can go around any of these three islands, which is really interesting. Uh, as you go around the islands and you can get very close to the rocks, you'll see sea stars, you'll see sea slugs, see hundreds of jellyfish, and the jellyfish are completely harmless. So it's just wonderful watching those, and particularly from a paddle board, because you're standing up and you're looking down. Um, but also you can go a little bit further if you're a bit more adventurous you can just hug the coast go around this bay and in about 30 minutes 40 minutes depending on how fast you paddle you then come into the first of the marine parks this is all uh, a, a provincial park and the provincial park have put nine marine parks down the inlet and they're all kayaking only you can't even get to them uh, by trails or treks uh, trekking uh, you can only get them by kayak so you know, often if we're you know fed up of the beauty and tranquility of this place, you know we'll get on our little boat and we'll just kayak around to the next bay. And 99% of the time, you're the only people there. And if you want to go a nip a little bit further, there's another nine of those parks just down the inlet. Um, generally, it, it's, we always tell our guests if it takes an hour to get there, it'll probably take you two hours to get back because there's a little slight wind going that way that generally just slows you down. You, if you're into fishing, you can kayak fish. 
Um, I actually catch snapper literally um, five minutes paddle from here um, is where you can catch uh, fish from your kayak. Um, and we have salmon, very rarely I will add, I don't want anybody coming on here and being disappointed if they don't catch one, but we do have salmon coming here. So occasionally, uh, you know, I'll just come down here with my rod and you know, try my luck at catching a salmon. And certainly if you're willing to go further afield, you'll see people in kayaks going up and down here, trolling for salmon. Yeah. We offer to, basically we take people out for a three hour sail and uh, then they can extend it if they want, like a, on an hourly rate. And uh, also we'll take, we'll make up, a, if they don't want to bring their own food, my wife will make up a picnic. Um, we're really flexible. We just talk to people about what they want to do. Uh, we had a German family and they just really wanted to go out the whole day sailing. And uh, they'd never sailed before and I let them have a go at sailing and they, they absolutely loved it. And then I had another honeymoon couple. They came out and they wanted to go sailing and then they wanted to be dropped off on a deserted beach. <laughs> and so I, with a gourmet picnic, so we, we made up a gourmet picnic and sailed down to Salmon Inlet there and dropped them off left them there, I think they want to be left for two hours, so then I sailed the boat around for a couple of hours and did a bit of fishing and came back, picked them up. Yeah, so I offer guests an option of, uh, you know, cruising, sailing, or if they want to experience America's <laughs> Cup style, and this is a little bit more America's Cup style. <laughs> no, we're completely wow. safe. And what's interesting is lots of people have never sailed before, and they come out and they just can't believe, can't believe it. We work in partnership with the Twanic Hotel. Um, they have a full service spa and um, that's open uh, seven days a week and has a fantastic reputation. And uh, a lot of people are sort of starting to come here now and the wife's going to go in the spa for three hours and the guy's going fishing with me for three hours and that's working out really well. And uh, also the same people that are doing the, the massage services will also come into, our, into your room and give you an in-room uh, massage. So we have a massage table and all the facilities here as well. We used to come in this area quite a lot and um, we were having a spa just up the road and um, my wife uh, was talking to the lady who had the massage and we let them know we were interested in having a bed and breakfast. and. Uh, yeah, the owners of the Twanic Hotel knew the people here and they just, uh, they just let them know that we were interested and we had a look around it and it wasn't even on the market, but um, we thought we were a good match for them and the place and uh, yeah, we moved, we moved in 14 days later. We stayed all around, but often in the seashell inlet area because you got all the benefits of it being the ocean. So you got all the wildlife, but you can actually get in the water here. Whereas in, uh, if you're on uh, the Georgia Strait, there's always a chop, there's always waves. There's always debris, you know. I hear, you know, look at it. It's just, in the morning, if you get up around sunrise, and this is just like a mirror across here. It's absolutely beautiful. We offer beautiful gourmet uh, two-course breakfast, and we serve that actually at the people's own deck. So it's not like a, you know, get together around a conventional bed and breakfast table. They actually just, we take, ask what time they want breakfast between 8.30 and 10.30, and we serve it uh, at, at their deck. Um, for the dinner we have a barbecue so guests can um, cook their own food um, if they're really desperate and you know they've arrived and they haven't got anything to eat we'll never let anybody go hungry um, but um, there's also a great delivery service so you can get a great variety of food delivered here from Seashell. Uh, there's a fantastic Indian actually that we always recommend. I've never had a bed and breakfast before but in, in, in my younger life I did, I worked as a cocktail barman in the Hilton Hotels and uh, I ran a restaurant and my wife is also, she's a uh, qualified food scientist from Winnipeg University but we came to Vancouver because she wanted to do an intensive one year culinary course so yeah she's, uh, she's pretty good at the breakfasts. I think the most uh, magical part is uh, is the, the joy you know that you see with people when they come here. They they just kind of walk down and uh, look around and they they're just smiling and happy and they don't really want to leave and everybody's talking about moving here and buying property and yeah and and the kids I love taking the kids out and they see so much they see seals they see eagles they see sea otters they see sea stars they see dolphins 
um, and they, you know, it's all close by and not like in an aquarium. So I think the kids is the big, biggest thing, yeah. And honeymoon couples, actually, that's quite fun. Uh, we take the honeymoon couples out, they want to go out to some remote beach and uh, we just take them out in the boat and drop them off and with a gourmet picnic and pick them up a few hours later and, you know, seeing the smiles on their faces too. It's pretty good. And we have a hot tub, so that's very popular all year round. <laughs> This is called Tranquility Bay, and if you look now, you'll see why. It's just this beautiful, tranquil bay pr protected by these islands. Um, so yeah, Tranquility Bay, BC, and we'll come up top on Google. And also TripAdvisor, um, Booking.com. Um, but yeah, you'll find us Tranquility Bay, BC. And we have a website, and it has online live availability. And also you can call anytime with a free phone number on the website, and uh, we'll give you the latest. <laughs>